Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and we are going to model our very first scene, our very first project. We're going to create a house with a lake, some trees, a fence, a road, and a sidewalk. So it should look decently nice for just using some primitives. But it's a way to show you that just using basic primitives, you can create pretty much anything you can imagine. Let's start off by setting up our project. So go to File Menu, down to Project, over to New. I'm going to name this Having Fun. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to browse and put this on my desktop. I'm going to use default names for all these subfolders and then click accept. All right. Let's start off by creating our ground plane. So I'm going to create just a polygon plane. I'm going to use a scale tool to scale this up. But instead of using these buttons over here in the toolbox, I'm going to use a shortcut. So instead of the move, rotate, and scale tools in our toolbox, I'm going to press the W, E, and R. W for the move, the letter E for rotate, and the letter R for scale. Once you get use of those, you will be a lot more efficient in your modeling. It will definitely speed up your the modeling process. So again, W, E, and R. All right, I'm going to scale this ground plane up. All right, I'm going to get rid of the grid. So I'm going to go to Display, turn off my grid. I'm also going to go to Smooth Shade All and turn on Wireframe Unshaded. Okay, I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to create, let me just show you one more thing real quick first. If we zoom out far enough, our geometry disappears. So let me just scale this up a little better so you can see what's happening here. See how it starts to cut it off? Our camera can only see so far. To fix that, just go up to your view panel's menu bar under view, look for camera attribute editor, click that, and over in the attribute editor, you will see near clip plane and far clip plane. Far clip plane is set at 1,000. So let's say we want our camera to see further than 1,000 units. We can just type in 5,000. Now our camera can see 5,000 units away. All right, I'm gonna go back to the channel box. Actually, we don't need the channel box. I'm just going to close out the channel box. Let's create our house. I'm going to create a polygon cube. I'm just going to scale that up. W for the move tool. R for the scale tool. Maybe scale it a little bit bigger. Maybe something like that. I'm going to duplicate. Control D. Move it out of the way. R for scale tool. Scale that down. Make it a little bit wider. So there is our roof. I'm going to grab the house again. Control D to duplicate it. Use the move tool and the scale tool. Shape it to the shape of a chimney. Maybe not quite that thick. So there's our chimney. Actually, it could be a little bit, probably a little bit smaller than that. It's a little high. All right, there's our chimney. Must like the house again. Control D. Pull it forward. Use my scale tool just to shape it to the shape of a door. Let's get in front of it so we can see it a little better. And don't forget your other view panels. You can actually go to a front view or top or side, whatever is uh, best for you. I pretty much do everything in the perspective view. Sometimes I'll switch, but most of the time I do everything in perspective. But it's just whatever uh, you find preference for yourself, whatever works best for you. All right, there's our door. Control D to duplicate it. It's going to move it over. Use my scale tool to shape it to a window. Control D, other side, shape it to maybe a different kind of window to add some character to our house. Control D, duplicate it again. So there's our house. I'm going to select the door. Control D to duplicate. Scale tool. And let's just shape it to a walkway.
So there's our walkway. Now we can make it a little bit wider than the door, maybe. All right, I'm going to duplicate it again, Control-D. I'm going to use my Rotate tool. I'm going to open my cha at our channel box up, and I'm going to look in the channel box and see which rotate value changes when I rotate this. And it looks like it's the Y. So I'm going to go to the Y, and I'm just going to type in 90. So now our sidewalk is 90 degrees. Scale that out. And make it a little bit wider, maybe. Control D, I'm just going to duplicate it for the other side. Control D, put it in the middle, and just scale it to make our road. And I'm just going to push it down because the sidewalks are usually a little bit higher than the road. So there is our road and our sidewalk. All right, let's create a fence. Create a polygon cylinder. I'm going to press the letter F. If you select an object and press the letter F, it frames in your it frames your camera in on the object. So if I was to click on a window, press the letter F, it frames our camera on that object. So I can zoom out, click on our cylinder, press the letter F, and it frames in. So a little trick there for you. All right, we're looking for a fence post, something about like that. Let's move it to our yard. That looks pretty good, I think. I'm going to create a kind of a, well, let's go ahead and duplicate this. It's so maybe there, there. So there's our, that's going to be our fence. I'm just going to grab a window, control D. I'm just going to make a board out of this. Let's move it to where it needs to be. So something like that, maybe a little skinnier. Scale that out. So you can see this is actually pretty easy. I mean, there's not a whole lot to this. It's just taking basic shapes and using them to create uh, more complex shapes. Control D, just bring that down. Maybe something like that. Select them both. Control D, because you can duplicate more than one object at a time. Maybe we can bring those up. We could even rotate these to add a little bit of character to our fence. Like so. Whoops, ignore that. All right, I'm going to select this this whole fence on this side. And actually, I might add one more section to it. So I'm going to select all of these, Control D, and just bring those over. Maybe even lower that down to something like that. So our fence is sitting on the ground right there. All right, I'm going to select all that for our fence. We're going to duplicate the whole thing and move it to the other side of our walkway. So control D, oops, and just move it over. There we go. So there's our fence. We need some trees. Now let's go ahead and save our work in case our computer crashes or something unexpected happens. We don't want to have to redo everything we just did. So I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As. And it's going to where we want it to go. Let's name this Having Fun underscore one. That way next time we save it we can save it as underscore two and then underscore three and so forth and that way anytime during our project if something happens and our file gets corrupted we could always open up a previous version and that way we don't have to start all over from scratch. Save.